morning guys it's august 29th and today's topic that i'm going to read is sublime intimacy i'm going to be in john chapter 11 and the verse of the day is 40 and i'm going to be reading verses 38 through 44 and this is jesus raises lazarus but the, remember the verse of the day is 40 so i'm going to start here at 38 Jesus therefore again groaning in himself cometh to the grave. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. So he's been dead four days, so he's not when they roll that rock away or move that rock, it's not going to smell good. Now here's the verse of the day. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God? So Jesus just asked her that. I'm going to repeat it one more time. Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with the grave cloths, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose, it, loose him and let him go. So there you have it. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. But these words, this question, verse 40, that's, that's a really serious thing here. That's what we're going to be talking about. Every time you come, or every time you venture out in the life of faith, you will find something in your common sense circumstances that flatly contradicts your faith. Common sense is not faith. And faith is not common sense. They stand in the relation of the natural and the spiritual. Can you trust Jesus Christ where your common sense cannot trust Him? Can you venture heroically on Jesus Christ's statements when the facts of your common sense life shout, It's a lie? On the mount, it is easy to say, Oh yes, I believe God can do it. But you have to come down into the demon-possessed valley and meet with facts that laugh ironically at the whole of your mount of transfiguration belief. Every time my program of belief is clear to my own mind, I come across something that contradicts it. Let me say I believe God will supply all my need. And then let me run dry with no outlook and see whether I will go through the trial of faith or whether I will sink back to something lower. We got to keep coming back, guys. Got to keep coming back to make our faith stronger. Faith must be tested because it can be turned into a personal possession only through conflict. What is your faith up against just now? The test will either prove that your faith is right or it will kill it. Blessed is he whatsoever shall not be offended in me. The final thing is confidence in Jesus. Believe steadfastly on him and all you come up against will develop your faith. There is a continual testing in the life of faith and the last great test is death. May God keep us in fighting trim. Faith is unutterably trusting God. Trust which never dreams that He will not stand by us. Jesus will always be standing next to us. And also, we will always be in His right hand. He keeps us protected. He stands on the right of the Father's throne, begging the Father for us. He died for our sins. And this, just this little question, when He says this to Martha, which is the sister of Lazarus, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest, shouldest see the glory of God. 
So they're still questionable about is is he really the son of God? Do they really believe what's going on right here? And you know, he performs this absolute miracle, raises somebody that's four days dead, Lazarus, from the dead, in mere sight, and they can see it, and they still, to the to the to that day that he died, didn't believe he was, you know, the son of God. You know, that's the kind of faith you got to work on in yourself, and you got to find that faith. Because that faith is going to be tested and trialed to the very end. And your faith is what's going to show our Father in Heaven what, you know, how, how you walked and believed. And that's the true test. That's what you're going to be judged on, is your faith and your deeds and everything. But God bless you all. I hope you guys like the message. If Christ can raise Lazarus from the dead. Imagine what he could do in your life. You know, sometimes you just gotta have an awakening. Um, if you haven't been baptized, now's the time to do it. I mean, you know, with what everything that's going in the world, you need a fresh start. You want to give your life to Christ and start doing good things and just let Jesus lead you in spirit. That's the way to do it. Um, Anyways, the re rebuilt, uh, reunite Green County uh, was amazing yesterday. There's so many good bands playing. For all who came, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was a blessing just to be there. There was great food, great people. There's a bunch of games going on for the kids. They had a cornhole tournament as well. Um, There's a bunch of local churches with stands set up. And I'm just telling you, it was a great time. The music was amazing. I mean. We we're out there worshiping in the street, you know, not ashamed of Jesus at all. We were all talking talking about God and some of us growing closer in our relationships and our bonds with each other. Uh, got to hear some really life-changing stories and testimonies out there, how God's changed their life. And uh, if you guys weren't there, you missed out. It was a really good thing. And what's good about it is I guess Brian is going to be having it again, uh, the Rebuilt Ministries. They're going to be putting it on again, and they're planning on doing it every year. So if you guys didn't make it this year, definitely come out next year and check it out. Bring your your family, your kids. I mean, it's just a great time. It was awesome. Uh, if you do come next year and it's hot, bring some sunscreen, because I definitely got burnt. I know uh, a few other people did too. Well, God bless you all. I hope you have an amazing Sunday. And just remember, Jesus is there on the throne for you. And your faith is what stands right now. Remember, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day you can become a new creature in Christ. And the only way to really learn is you got to read this Word. I don't know where, where you should start, but I'll tell you what. Open in the Bible. That's where you start. And then you start reading. That that's that's the best way to start. God bless you all. Remember, stand on this firm foundation and you will stand in victory. I'm out of here. See you guys.